Hey everybody, it's Nicole coming at you with a quick and easy DIY. Today we're going to be making a tray. Um, I was in the midst of redoing my bedroom. I was purging some stuff and decided to kind of redo it a little bit. And I decided to shop my stash um, in the house instead of going out and, you know, buying stuff or whatever. I just shopped my home and you know, switched out some stuff. Well, when I got to the point of accessorizing and things like that, I realized I didn't have a tray to go on top of one of the cabinets or chests in my bedroom. So I decided to make one as cheaply as possible. So I went to Home Depot, picked up this tile. This is a 10 by 14 tile. It is a sealed tile. It's non-porous, um, it, which is what I was going for because if I decided to use it to put food on it or whatever, this can be clean, sanitized, and all that good stuff. Um, it's heat safe, you know, all of that. So, um, again, this was from Home Depot. It was $2.15. And they come in all different shapes, sizes, colors, and all that good stuff. So, you know, think outside the box and just get creative. So, we have this, which will be our tray. Um, I also went into my craft stash and found these drawer pulls. I had hauled these, oh my gosh, a couple years ago. I got these from Hobby Lobby. They were on clearance for a dollar. And as you can see, they were regularly $9.99 each. And this is what they look like. It is just a blingy drawer pool. When I got them, I was like, oh, they're really cute. I don't have a use for them, but I'm sure I'll find one eventually. And here we are. So I pulled two of these out of my stash and I think they work perfectly with this marbled look of the tile. It just adds a nice sort of um, upscale sort of look to it. So yeah, so pull those out. And then what I've already done to save some time, and this is something that you don't have to do, but I just decided to do it. Um, I added some of this blingy like washi tape that I had gotten from Target's Dollar Spot a long time ago or Bullseye, whatever the thing it is, um, a while ago. And I just ran it around the edge of the tile. I just lined up the edge of the tape with the edge of the tile and just stuck it down and folded the excess under. Um, so again, you don't have to do that because the edge of this tile is beveled, so it's gonna be fine. You know, you won't see any roughness or anything like that. Now, what we're gonna do together is on the bottom of the tile, of course, you know, it is rough and I do not want to put this on top of my furniture in the bedroom like this for it to scratch the surface. So I'm going to use um, a couple of sheets of this sticky back velvet that I got from um, BB Crafts. Um, I'll post the link to the site below. They sent me some things to um, review and do some craft projects with you. So. I'm pleased to be able to do that. So I'm going to use this to cover this surface. Um, and that'll protect the top of my cabinet from, you know, being scratched or whatever. And then we're going to attach the um, handles to the tray using the... Um, Gorilla hot glue. I'm not going to use the E6000. I, I really don't want to smell that stuff. And besides, the um, Gorilla glue is really, really strong. I'm not going to be lifting it per se by the handles. If I do need to lift it, I can just pick it up, you know, by the sides or whatever. But it's pretty much strictly decorative. So I'm not worried about doing that. But if you want to, by all means, use E6000 or some kind of industrial strength adhesive. So let's get to covering up. As you can see, I've um, you can see where I folded over the washi tape right here uh, underneath the towel, and I added a little bit of hot glue to you know keep it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel the sticky back off of this paper, and I'm gonna adhere this first sheet down and then we'll just go ahead and cut the other to size because of course they're not even so I'm just trying to get it down as best as I can there we go you can also use the little um 
risers, if you will, the little sticky dots and put in the corners to protect your surface. Or you can put some, you know, if you choose to, sorry about the camera. You, if you choose to, you can put some little um, wooden dowels or something to create some feet or some height to the tray if you want. But I don't want to, again, this is strictly decorative. Um, um, for my bedroom. So I'm going to take another sheet and just kind of eyeball where I need to cut. I mean, you can be precise and measure this if you want to, honey. It is not that serious for me because nobody's going to see the bottom of this tray for real. So. I'll go ahead and cut that. Down right there, and then go ahead and cut off this little corner because I'm all about getting this done. I know some people like to measure and all that stuff, and I ain't trying to go through all that for real. <laughs> but be as precise as you want. I want a quick result when it comes to certain things, and honey, this is how I do it. Okay, so putting this part down, and I like the fact that it's already got an adhesive um, stickiness to it. And so makes it real super easy. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do the same thing over here on this side. Get some glue stuck on my... And I love this stuff. perfect like I said and okay, let me peel this off well I'm gonna get my nail in there there we go and then we're just gonna stick it down there we go so now I don't have to worry about it scratching top of the chest okie dokie so we can flip this over and as you can see I am working on um, a placemat here so I don't scratch the top of this on my table or anything and I probably will run a little bit of hot glue around this washi because uh oh I lost my glue stick where's my glue stick there we go <laughs> to keep it down because you know how washi does. Oh gosh, your glue stick does not want to stay in here. Um, because it does not want to stay. And if you get a little glue on stuff, you know, it'll peel right off because that's what it does. All right, so <laughs> all right, and see, I was doing good, y'all. I'm telling you, what can go wrong will sometimes. So again, I'm gonna add a little hot glue. You can use any type of glue to put this down if you want glue stick, Elmer's, whatever. But since I have hot glue right here, we're gonna do that. Okay. So, there we go. So now we're gonna adhere the handles. And again, this is something that you may wanna measure. Again, I'm just gonna eyeball this. Let me get this out of the pack. Okay, doke. So, just kinda figure out um, the distance or how far in or out you want them to be. And let me see. There we go. And you can measure again, like I said. I can actually use the distance of this paper. Let's see. To do that. We can do that, y'all. Put that right there. So the eyeball the middle. We can use the width of the paper or the length of this paper um, as a guide. And that's pretty good. I think that works. Let's see. Slide it over just a little bit. Make sure they're even width from the top. Works for me. All right. So. Add a little hot glue. And 
you don't want too much because you don't want it oozing. And I'm going to make sure I have it up there right up against that paper and even with the other. There we go. That sticks down really, really quickly. We like it. Do that. <laughs> okay, now here we go. Just lift the paper up and see that was a good thing to happen so you can actually see what happens when you make a mistake. Alrighty, and we should place it down and, and there we go. Let that dry. And there we have it. Oops, hopefully my camera did not screw up and not focus. Okay, here we go, y'all. Oh, well, it would help if I took this off, wouldn't it? But there we go. We have a beautiful tray, and I'll show you what it looks like in the space. But this is simple, it's easy, and it's very, very cheap. You can get these drawer pulls at any home improvement store. Um, Hobby Lobby has these still, or you can choose whatever style you want. And it's really simple and easy, so hopefully you guys will try this. If you do, please let me know down below. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more little quick and easy DIYs like this as well. So stay tuned for pictures of it in the space and I will see you in my next video.